let's go to our discussion for today, which is on uniform acceleration and free fall. That will be our discussion for today. Again, those who are um, just coming in, welcome to this discussion for Physics 71. We are now in day five, and this will be the last topic before your FQ1 coverage. Okay, so the topic for today is on uniform acceleration and free fall. Yesterday we discussed the uh we discussed natin kahapon. We discussed natin yung position time graph, velocity time graph, and acceleration time graph, and we, we predicted or we deduced the quantities that you can or the behavior of the motion of a particle in one dimension based on these uh on these graphs. So Apparently, by just looking at the graph and having some values, you can predict whether the particle starts slowly or um, increases the speed, speeds up or slow down, uh, ano yung nature ng kanyang velocity, and so on and so forth. By just looking at the slopes of the tangent line, the area under the curve, for example, you can predict the, you can determine the, the position time graph or the acceleration time graph from the velocity time graph. That's what we did yesterday. Now, of course, the question else now is, can we be more... Um, Usually, kasi pag plots, ang, uh, uh, ang daming pwedeng sources of errors yan, di ba? Like, for instance, paano kung di ka ka-accurate yung plotting mo, tapos maghahanap ka ng area under the curve? I don't know kung ano, di ba? Parang, parang uh, medyo maraming problema. So, we'll go to a special case of motion where we go where we deal with um, motion of 1D objects analytically. Meaning, magsasolve tayo ng equations. So, our special case here is that the acceleration is constant throughout the mission. Uh, throughout the mission, wow. Throughout the trajectory, <laughs> nag thesis big line. <laughs> Joke lang. So here's an outline of the discussion. We first derive the kinematic equations for uniformly accelerated motion. And then we solve problems in UAM or constant acceleration kinematics. And then finally, as a special case of uniformly accelerated motion, we discuss free fall. Okay. Again. So here are the objectives of this discussion. So at the end of this session, uh, yeah, you should be able to uh, have the following. First, you need to familiarize with the four kinematic equations. And then second, we solve problems involving motion with constant acceleration. And then we define free fall motion. And then we solve problems involving motion of freely falling bodies. Are there any questions so far? May mga tanong ba? May mga tanong? And so far. None so far, thank you. So, let's go to our discussion. Okay, naalala ninyo, last time, you have your velocity time graph. You have your velocity time graph, and if we assume that the acceleration is constant, what can we say about the slope of the of the line for a VT graph? What can we say about that? Ano masasabi natin? Siyempre, since acceleration or instantaneous acceleration in that sense is the slope of the tangent line and it's constant, ibig sabihin, at, at any point in the VT graph, the slope is constant. Therefore, anong curve yun? Anong curve yung makbubuo mo for, in the VT graph for a constant acceleration um, uh, trajectory? Sure, linear. Yes, it's a line. So, it is a line. So, ganito. From your acceleration formula, you can always get an equation of line. May nagtanong sa akin kanina, sir, ano po bang equation ng uh, gagamitin ko? Eh, puro linya to. The question now is, binali ko sa kanya, ano bang equation ng line? This is an example of an equation in line. For instead of y equals mx plus b, you have your vx equals axt plus v not x. Um, later, we will remove all the subscripts x because uh, we are um, we are sure that in, we are in one dimension. So um, x is there are no cumbersome. Pwede natin tanggalin yan. So in that case, para lang siyang line. So parang y equals mx plus b. And then we plot it parang ganyan. Di ba? So your y-intercept is the initial velocity and the, the y at any given point and the slope is the acceleration of the particle. Okay? Now, marami tayong makukuha dyan. Let's have this, uh, okay, magde-derive ako. So what will happen is this. Remember, di ba? Di meron tayong trajectory equation. Meron tayong, ano, di ba? Ganyan. So this is v naught. I will remove now all the all the uh, x subscripts kasi understood na to. So this is v as a function of t. So ganyan yung itsura niya. So the point here is um here since linya to there's this is what I'm saying um from the previous discussion that kapag line yan the instantaneous velocity at any given point is equal to the average velocity at the end points. So, kasi line naman yan. Okay? So para kang nag-create ng tangent line sa linya, which is same lang yan, equal lang sila, di ba? So I can define an average acceleration. Let's say at some final point V here, I have an average, um, uh, sorry, um, the average velocity 
is just equal to what? I can think of it as the mean of the values. Pwede kong isipin mean yan. Diba? Para kang nag-compute ang average ng grade mo high school. Which is just equal to what? Ano yun? Sir, V plus V not over 2. Yes, it's V plus V not over 2. Ngayon, naalala ninyo, anong definition ng average velocity in terms of displacement? So there are students coming in. Anong definition? Diba, ang displacement ay um, simply displacement over time. We will assume initially that time is T not equal 0 here. Okay? Then also, the equation of the line here, this is also true. V equals V naught plus AT. Binaliktad ko lang yung AT, yung Y equals MX plus B. Ginawa kong B plus MX. Para sang naman yan. Okay. Now here's the thing. Okay. If, ang gagawin ko, cross multiply ko to. They are the same because they represent the same average acceleration, right? So this means that V plus V naught quantity T equals X minus X dot times 2. Tapos, eh, yung V dito, eh, ito yun, di ba? Diba? So this means that I have a 2 V naught, oh, sige, para lang kita, V naught plus A T plus V naught again multiplied by T equals 2 quantity X minus X naught. Tapos, eh wait, dalawang V naught yan, no? Ah, edi gagawin kong dalawang V naught yan. 2 V naught, 2 V naught plus A T quantity squared, ay quantity T, sorry, is 2 times X minus X naught. And then what I will do finally is to um, uh, multiply this by t and then divide both sides by 2. So, ano mangyari? This gives you x minus x naught equals what? Oy, may 2 dito na hati. So, I have a v naught. Pero may t pa dito. So, I have v naught e. Plus, oy, a t. Kalahati niya. 1 half. A t squared. A t squared. Ano yan? Ano yan? The kinematic equation. That's one of your kinematic equations. Exactly. So, this, uh, so I can write this as x equals x naught plus v naught t plus one half a t squared. Ang tawag dito ay position time function. Okay? Now, I can also eliminate um, uh, my t here in the process and uh, wala kasi time time sayang i-delive ko sana pero I can also eliminate time in the process and I can determine the following equation v squared equals v naught squared minus 2a quantity x minus x naught that is also your um, this is now the velocity position function Ali now so you have now your four actually four yung kinematic equations these are the four kinematic equations. Okay? Now, derive natin essentially yung isa sa mga kinematic equations. It's, um, uh, if there's still time, baka balikan ko to. Paano, paano i-derive yan? Pero possibly wala na time. time. <laughs> so, yun. Okay, questions. May tanong ba rito? May tanong? Are there any questions in this item? In this part? Yes, None. Okay. So, now, so the point here is, well, of course, another approach is to determine the area under the curve of the VT graph. Pwede rin yun. So, when you determine the area under the curve of the VT graph, you will get the position time function. So, and you get that. This is the equations that we will be having. So, para kang nag, um, naghanap ng area ng trapezoid. And from that, we can determine the your usual position time kinematic equations. Okay. And then, so... We already determined the velocity time. This is the velocity time function. And then we have the position, um, the definition of the average velocity. And therefore, your uh, your um, position time function. Then we can eliminate the time in the process and say that, okay, we get this fourth equation here, which is your velocity position equation. Okay? So, ang tawag sa apat equations na yan ay kinematic equations or kinematic equations. Well, technically, kinematic equation sila for uniformly accelerated motion. Okay? The zero here means not. So, huwag kayo malilito pag nagsabi ako ng V not dyan. Not. Not. N-A-U-G-H-T. Okay? May tanong. Are there any questions here? May tanong ba rito? So, basically, what I just did is to derive one of these um, four equations. The first one can be obtained from um, the velocity time graph. And then the second one comes from the definition of your average velocity, which is also a property of your VT graph. Malino ba tayo dito? 
Clear ba tayo rito? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay, sige. Now, um, 